back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different video. We're doing DIY makeup organizations for the Alex 9 drawer. These organization methods can be used for any kind of drawer, just change your measurements. Alright, so I'm going to keep this intro short and simple because the video is kind of lengthy, but if you like this kind of stuff, then just give me a thumbs up. Alright guys, so some things that you will be needing for these DIY projects is some foam boards. I picked up five from the Dollar Tree store. You don't necessarily need that many, it just depends on how many drawers you want to organize. You only need one foam board per project. Alright, so some other things that you'll need. A ruler. I will go ahead and suggest that metal rulers work a little better, but this plastic one works just fine. You'll also need some scissors. You'll need a pencil just to, for some markings of measurements. And then you're going to need an X-Acto knife or a utility knife. I went ahead and picked this one up at Walmart. I believe it was $3. And then you're going to need a cutting board or some kind of surface that you can cut this with the X-Acto knife. Because that's sharp and it will cut through whatever's under. Not cut through, but it'll scratch whatever's underneath. Another thing that you will need that I do not have present with me because it is currently hot is a glue gun. Alright, so starting off, I cut two different size strips or boards out of my foam boards. And I made 10 of these which are about 16 inches long. And then these which will be, those will go long ways. And then these which will be the dividers down the middle. These are about, they're supposed to be 11 and a fourth inches. But I cut a few too short. With my notches, I tried to do an inch in between each. But what went wrong for me, I messed up on mine. They're very sloppy. Is because I just started, you know, cutting with my scissors and making these. And I made some wider than others. So some are less than an inch and then some are bigger as you can see. And these are supposed to go in just like locking in. Sorry, I only have one hand so I'm trying to do this. But they're supposed to like lock in like this. But since my sizing and stuff is off, they don't want to stay locked in place. Which is the easy way. So I'm going to be using my glue gun to try to glue them like just maybe dab some glue in there just push them together and it'll hold it so that's what I'm going to start doing um, since I don't have a way to set up my camera to do this I will just do a little bit and just come back each time and just let you see as I build it up so now I have this first piece on and what I had to do was glue in each little notch and put them together one at a time which took a while but now I have my layout done. So what I plan to do now is to go in each one of these and put a little bit of hot glue. And then I'll go in with this and push them together. Also something I forgot to mention earlier is that both this height, I believe I did, they're both one and a half inches long. So I did this last night. And then I was hoping that I could hurry and do this last night and just stick them all together. And then when I realized I was going to have to hot glue them, I just put it off to the next day. Anyways, I'll do a little more and then I'll show you all some more progress. Alright guys, so I'm about halfway and this is how it's looking. Alright, and the other tip I thought of is when you're down here, what I like to do is put the glue, like hold it right here and put the glue down. And then it helps if you just wipe it on the sides because that way if the pieces aren't fitting exactly in the notches like all the way down to the glue, they'll at least catch to the sides and that'll end up making your whole structure more sturdy. Alright, so here's the finished product. It got a little wonky over here so I'm just going to put that in the back side of my drawer. So it'll be from this way. And it's a little messed up put together, but we'll see how it works. And worst case, if I don't like it, I can just redo it. Alright, so I slipped this in to my drawers and there was a little bit, um, it was a little bit too wide and so I just trimmed down the sides. But as you can see, there's parts where my <laughs> measuring got off because I did this very sloppy. But if you just stay with your measurements, you should be good goes really far back there. I mean, I'm happy it'll get the job done. If it bothers me enough, all the little flaws and little notches in there, then I'll just redo it. 
so here we go. And I know I do not have a large collection of lip products, but hopefully the space will let me have that grow. So here it is. A little crazy, a little crooked, but when you get the products in there, it starts to look really nice. And a good thing I like is that little skinny things like these bare mineral lip glosses they like flick around too much on their own so i just pair them up and can slip them in here same with like the elf and the ColourPop lippies i can just squish them down together into their own slot so it works for tall liquid lipsticks short lipsticks and then i even over here i have like a lip pencil or a lip liner and so there we go All right, so we're gonna start with our first step is to make the base. And so I'm gonna measure out 11 and a half inches this way and 12 inches this way. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead right through your 12 mark and drag your ruler out to 11 and a half inches so it's easier for you to cut along. All right, so I have my markings here, here, and here. And then you're going to want to make another size, exact same size of this baseboard. So you want to put your ruler up here and measure out another 12 inches and then 11 by 15. All right, so I went ahead and lined my ruler up to the line and using my X-Acto knife, I cut this off and I'm going to be just taking this piece and setting it aside. And I'm going to go in with my X-Acto knife and cut the two pieces right there to make my two bases. You will have a little section here at the end that's also excess material. And so we're going to take that section and put it over here and we will get back to those foam boards. All right, so now you should have two 11 and a half by 12 squares. And at this point, you just want to stop and go ahead and slide this into your drawer just to make sure the base fits because it'll make your life a whole lot easier if you cut it down now before adding on all of the other pieces. So if it fits, just go ahead and set it aside. And we're going to go back to this piece that was that smaller remainder piece. And we're going to use this to cut our front and back boards. All right, so I have this small board and I went ahead and measured this right here is two inches and then this is two inches. And you wanna do that to both sides. And then you're gonna go ahead and cut along those lines and then this is just going to be an extra piece left over. All right, so here I cut the two inch, the two pieces. So these should be two inch by 11 and a half. And as you can see this top one is too short. So we're just going to toss that. All right, so we're back to this big board that was left over when we cut our bases. And what we're going to do is we're gonna use this to make our side pieces and our dividers. So we're gonna start by measuring 12 inches twice. So measure 12, cut, put a notch, and then from that do another 12, and just do it on both sides so it's easier for you to cut. All right, so now you have these two boards and you're gonna want to take your ruler and measure out two inch sections just until it fills up your board, and then that's going to make us more of the two by 12s. All right, so I was able to take my first board and make four pieces with a little bit of remainder that I threw over there, and now I'm going to do the same with the second board. All right, so after you finish your sideboards, you're gonna to wanna to take your makeup and pull out the largest pieces. So I am taking the largest of my liquid eyeliner, the largest of my pencil, mascara, eye primer, etc. And you're going to want to do this so you can find out how big your sections need to be. All right, after you finish this, you're going to want to take one of the pieces we just cut and use that to figure out where you want to glue the boards down to make your sections. All right, and after you find out where you want your walls to be, you will take your pencil and mark each side of the wall on your baseboard. That way it'll be easier for you when you're gluing down to find where exactly you wanted them. To make your life easier, you would also want to take those lines and draw them down into your front board. After you finish your vertical boards, you want to also do the same with your horizontal divider. 
You want to mark that on your baseboard and also your sideboard as well. Then after you finish that, you want to bring that board up to the other side so you can make the markings. But you do not want to flip it around because that will mess up your measurements. You just want to bring it straight up from the bottom and mark the same measurements. Then you want to take your sideboard where you marked your horizontal divider and drag that across your baseboard to mark those markings. After that, you want to take your ruler and connect the two lines. You should end up with two lines at the end. All right, then taking that front side board, you wanna bring that up to the middle section we just drew, and you wanna extend the lines for the dividers. Because the width of our baseboard is already a tight fit for the Alex 9 drawer, you're gonna want your right and left side boards to go on top of the baseboard. Using your pencil, you wanna mark the side of the board so we can find out how much space these boards will be taking on our base. All right, now you wanna take your horizontal piece and line it up to the line we just made. Then you wanna draw on your horizontal board a line that matches the first line to the right. You wanna draw a line at the top and the bottom of the horizontal board. This is where you'll be cutting. You're gonna repeat all the same steps for each piece, except your starting line will be different. From the line where you just ended, the next line over is where you will start. So that is where you should place your piece. After you completed making your small dividers, we're going to start putting it together. So I'm going to be working from left to right, and I'm going to start by hot gluing down my first outside board. Moving on to the next piece, you just want to flip it around and find where it lays best. This is typically the smoothest side. As you move throughout the base adding on pieces, you just want to hot glue any side that's going to be contacting surface. Since this process is pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the footage. Now for the front and back sideboards, I decided to just put hot glue along the each divider. In that way, I'd be saving a lot of glue, but it would still hold it well. I went ahead and made four of these for my drawers, so here they are. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Comment down below what your favorite DIY organization was. I know I'm not the most artistic kind of person, but I thought I'd give it a shot and some were a little rough, but in the end I like how it all came out and I hope you liked watching. Bye!